think I've been coming to the v &A since I was a child. We used to come here on uh, school visits. When I was asked to choose five or six of my favourite items, I actually laughed because I thought that's impossible. I, I could do that in one room. When I was at school, I think I probably first developed my interest in the arts. I wanted to discover the history of art and what followed on from movement to movement. That's particularly interesting, I think, with photography. I chose these Fukazi photographs because they have a very unique and extraordinary poetry to them. They're um, Japanese photographer, 1980s, mid-1980s. And as you can see, they are mostly photographs of birds. And some of the photography is quite um, foreboding. And actually the story of the photographer himself probably explains why he created this project, as he was um, very much in love with his wife and they separated and divorced and he went into enormous depression and ended up photographing these birds day after day. Personally, I've always had quite a close relationship with technology. I'm fascinated by it. I use a lot of it in music, but equally I use technology at home and just like everybody else, I'm reliant at this point on these devices that have to be plugged in and recharged every night and, and guide me through my day. This item on the wall, it is a 3D printed gun, which was created in 2013 by a young man called Cody Wilson, who has christened himself a crypto-anarchist. The gun was made as some kind of protest, America's right to arms. But what is rather terrifying about it is that when he made this gun, uh, which was made with a 3D printing machine, it actually worked. It fired real ammunition, bullets. And so he put the files to the gun up onto the internet for everyone to download and over 100,000 copies were downloaded rather quickly. When I realised I had so few choices in the whole of the V&A, I felt it was essential to have some clothing. The one I have chosen is actually a trouser suit made by Coco Chanel. I think Chanel was really one of the first designers to blur gender a little. She understood that certain things could work for women and men. Uh, the use of ruffles, well, even I have been known to wear ruffles on occasion. It's very dramatic and effective and, of course, exquisitely made. For those who aren't familiar with the Profumo affair, um, it was really all about a 19-year-old beauty called Christine Keeler, who had a friend called Stephen Ward, who operated in fancy circles. And he introduced her and her friend Mandy to some politicians, one being Profumo. They started to see each other, shall we say? and things got a little out of hand and made it into the news. What made it even more complicated is that Madame was also having a little affair with a Russian. And this was during Cold War times, and it really did nearly bring down the Macmillan government. Very sadly, Stephen Ward actually died, and it's all to do with this photograph and this chair. That chair is the one that Christine Keeler sat on for her very famous photograph taken by Lewis Morley. 
And it's also the chair that many other people sat on since that occasion, notably Dame Edna Everidge, David Frost, and even Homer Simpson. What's interesting is if you look at the photograph, you can see that that chair is the very chair that he used in his photographic studio. What's even more interesting is that it was quite a well-known furniture design. The one we're talking about was actually a knockoff made by Heels here in the UK. And that's the one that was used in the photo. Here we are in the Theatre and Performance Gallery, um, which is rammed with gems. Everywhere you look, there's something from Vivian Lee over there, Lou Reed over there, a Transformer poster, which I hadn't seen for many, many years. There was so much to choose from, but I eventually zeroed in on this. It is a model for the theatre production of an opera called Rosalka, done by an extraordinary designer, Stefanos Lazaridis. It has a very uh, personal meaning for me because I was lucky enough to know Stefanos. In fact, I attended a performance at the English National Opera and I was so blown away by the production, I thought I have to get in touch with the designer and see if he'd be interested in doing anything for a rock show. He knew how to use space and what had to happen with the drama. And he, he used to try to find the black humour in everything. If you look, there's a pool, which he did with a mirror, and the, the little children are peering out of the cupboard. I'm sure something terrible is just about to happen. diversity and the um, extent of the collection is extraordinary and one of the greatest in the world because you can be in Chinese antiquities one minute and then modern photography the next minute and I spent most of my lifetime making records and playing concerts and you're always looking somewhere you don't really know where you just grasp in the air and hope to find something for inspiration.